big, let's give a big warm welcome to Amazon Lit. Woo! Miami, what the fuck is up? How we doing today? At that level of motivation is trash to me. That, that level of motivation is just not gonna cut it. So one more time, how are we doing today? Awesome, fantastic. Did a lot of you learn stuff today that you think will help grow your business when you implement it, when you get back home? Awesome, fantastic. So for anybody who doesn't know who I am, my name's Eric Castellano. This is my business partner, best friend. What's up guys, Sebastian here. And Pleasure to be here. I've, I personally learned so much already today. It's been a phenomenal event. Can we give it up real quick for Romer, Taylor making this all happen, putting it together? Yeah, shout out to these guys for putting this together. And shout out to all y'all for making a commitment to come Absolutely. out here. Because without all of you, this, this event doesn't exist. This networking opportunity doesn't exist. You know, so I, I'd like everybody to do, I got a, a short little exercise. It's gonna take you 10 seconds. So everybody stand up for me real quick. All right, now you're gonna reach into your pocket and take out your wallet. And then you're gonna pass all your, no, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. You're gonna pass all your money to the left. Sebastian will come around with a basket. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so this is what we're gonna do, right? At the, at the count of three, I want you to scream as loud as you can because A, we just had lunch, right? And I'm just like not feeling it right now. I just had like two slices of pizza, I'm ready for a nap. You know, so, so we gotta change that. So I want everybody to scream at a, at a count of three as loud as you can to change your mental state. Switch it up a little bit, right? So I'll do it first so nobody's uncomfortable. I'm gonna count to three and then I'm gonna scream. And then I'm gonna count to three and then I want all of you to scream. All right, so here it goes. On the count of three, I'm gonna scream. One, two, three. Ah! Miami, I need it louder than that. On the count of three, as loud as you can. One, two, three. Ah! Yes, fantastic, my friends. I bet you're feeling a little more motivated right now, are you? Yeah. Fantastic, all right, grab a seat. I love this shit. I love you too. Um, so, so listen, today, today, you know, we, 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 we do events like this all over the country and soon all over the world, uh, but we don't have a, any presentation planned for you today. Today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people miss out on and, and not a lot of the conversation today is going to be about Amazon FBA. It's going to be at the, about the mindset that you need to achieve these goals that you set out for yourself. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's look at just the energy, right? The change in our energy that we just went through right there, what that does for your mindset. Your health, mind, body, soul, all of that. The reason we've had success is the ability to take ourselves and mirror that in our business. I heard it shared earlier today about your success will only mirror who you are internally. So what you do, those small little moments, those granular details throughout the day, how you interact with others could change the whole dynamic of your success of your life. But if you're not prepared for it because you haven't been working on yourself, you're gonna miss it. All it takes is one of those moments to happen for your whole life to transform. And that's why I set these outlandish goals because who I am today won't be capable of running the business I'm gonna have in the future. I need to keep progressing in order to meet that standard that I want to be and that I'm going to be at. The person I was five years ago wouldn't be able to, the person I was last year wouldn't be able to handle the amount of stresses I have on a daily basis because of the businesses I run. So just a little backstory on us. Sebastian and I, we met what? 20 years, 20 years ago in high school and, and, and we instantly clicked. At that time we were selling a lot of uh, random things, jewelry, um, some other stuff and we just had this hustler mentality and it worked for us you know and and, and we rekindled our relationship a few years later and, and Sebastian was talking about Amazon FBA and and at that time Sebastian was doing what a lot of y'all are doing he was selling products that he was buying at Costco Sam's Club BJ's out of his basement you know and and, and how long did you operate the business out of your basement for Sebastian uh, about six months six months right so he's in a lot of he where he's in the shoes that a lot of you are standing in right now you know, and we knew that after those six months, what did we do in those first six months? 
It's a couple hundred K, right? Probably even more than that. In sales, probably about, yeah, six figures a month, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so so we were able to build it six figures a month, but we knew there was more opportunity. I heard a lot of, in the panels and some of the other talks today, you know, about like the constant seeking for inventory. You know, you gotta go to 18 fucking Walmarts. Where, who, what was his name? Jameson, right? Uh, fucking 30,000 stores the dude went to. <laughs> he, he were, like, you might as well get the Google map fucking thing on top of your car and just work for Google at that point, you know? <laughs> but like, listen, but listen, it works, right? For him, for his business model, he's mastered that skill set. It works for him. For us, we needed something more special. What was that something more? Wholesale. Wholesale. And, and so I was talking to a few people today. The wholesale wasn't like, we didn't come across wholesale and a light went off and we dropped RA and just went all in wholesale and we had suppliers lined up at our door. It was a two to three year transition. It, you know, maybe at the first six months it was a 90, 10, 90% being RA, 10% wholesale. Then the next six months it was like a 70, 30. And we slowly transitioned into it because we didn't want to dilute ourselves and what we built successfully, we wanted to scale and we knew the only way to scale was wholesale for us but it wasn't an instantaneous transition. It was a lot of action, a lot of learning, and a slow momentum and balance between the two. And a lot of fear, too. A lot of fear. Right, a lot of fear. Yeah. I talked to probably, first of all, I love going to events like this because I talk to so many people, and I love meeting all of you in person, seeing your faces, because I have no idea who you fucking are, except for your Instagram handles. But then when you come to a place like this, I get to see your face, and then, I, and then we get to build a relationship. And that's, that's really what it's all about for me. You know, but that initial decision to make a transition from what we knew what was working, which was for us RA, which for you might be books, might be private label, might be online arbitrage, could be whatever. Maybe you're selling uh, refurbished items, it doesn't matter. But there's a fear of making that transition into the next step in your business. And the only way to get away from that fear and through that fear is to recognize it and analyze it and figure out where it's stemming from. Every fear in my life, fear of confrontation, fear of loving, right? Fear of failure, fear of success, it all stems from a fear that's happened in my life. So if I could pinpoint that and then analyze what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? I make a transition and, and, and my business is no longer 100% RA, but it's now 10% wholesale and 90% RA. What's the worst that can happen? You fail? That doesn't matter. Pick your shit up and start over again. You know, fear of failure and fear in itself is one of the most toxic traits that we have as humans, you know? But you're able to use it as a sign of strength instead of a sign of weakness, which most people don't realize. I love that. And the, it's like we practice this. Um, and the science part of it is like, there, there's myelin, right? Myelin is an insulator of your central nervous system. It literally, it strengthens your nerves, your cells and your brain and throughout your body. And it sends this signal more efficiently and quickly throughout you. What is this? It's building the muscle. That muscle is built through doing things, through fear, through failure, through going through it and continuing, persisting. So just like when you hit the gym and afterwards you're feeling sore the next couple days, but it's a tear that's going to build again. So you feel that same soreness. That fear is a good thing. That fear, as long as you're going through it, that, that failure that you went through, that's a good thing because as long as you don't quit, it's building that entrepreneurial muscle. Yeah, and, and I was just talking, uh, or no, um, Trevin, he was just had, had his presentation. And I love when this guy speaks because A, it's his slides are a fucking a point, you know? But, um, but B, he talked about how he had failures, you know? And it was eight of them. I would have fucking quit, you know? I, I probably would have. Eight failures, number nine, right? How many people would have quit after eight failures? You're lying. You, come on, <laughs> you know? But it's just like, wow, right? So he said eight failures, and Sebastian leads over to me and said, Trevin didn't fail once. You know, he paid for an experience. And he got the value that he paid for for that experience. And for in his case, it was much cheaper than a college education, you know, than some sort of sophisticated degree. It was much cheaper, a couple hundred dollars. Second thing, I was talking to Taylor last night, right? Me and Taylor were kicking, kicking the shit over at the bar. And he said, Eric, yeah, he was, he was talking about a, a loss he had. And I was just like, bro, that's not a loss. 
you paid to learn something new. A $4,000 loss isn't a $4,000 loss if you gained invaluable experience and knowledge that you can use to leverage for the future of your business. If you're seeing that as a loss, you got a disconnect up here and it needs to be fixed. And the only way to fix this is by absorbing more information and attending more events like this and surrounding yourself with people who have this fixed. Because this, for me, was broken for a long time. And it's still broken and I fix it every day to become a better individual, a better entrepreneur, a better hustler, better motivator, better social media presence, better person, better brother, better son, better boyfriend. Absolutely. And it all comes from what a lot of people stem as a mistake, right? These mistakes are learning experiences as long as we don't repeat them.